Hello friends and crafters, welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I'm super excited to have you join me today as I share with you my peony tutorial. So to get started, I'm going to show you the die. I will leave a link to this die below. It is still available. I'm going to take this out of the frame so that we can look at the die together. And it does say that it is a peony flower. And it comes with several dies. We're not using all of them for today. I'm gonna to show you what we have. So I didn't use uh, this one and this one, which this was the one up from the smallest and this is the largest. We didn't use that. So I'm gonna take that and put it back in the bag. So let's go ahead and look at these dies. I'm gonna give you the measurements. So the largest one is one and seven eighths. The next one is one and three quarters. This one is one and three eighths. And this one is one inch. Okay. So what we're going to need is to cut these out on some Georgia Pacific cardstock. Okay. We're going to take these out of the way. Now there are front and backs to your petal. So when you put your cardstock on the top, this side after it's cut is going to be the wrong side and this side facing the, the top of the die is your correct side and you can tell because it's got a nicer cut edge where the edge on this is like kind of turned up. So um, that matters when putting your flowers together. So what we're going to do for the large flower, which is this large peony right here, we are going to cut five of the large, which is the one and seven eighths, five of the one and three quarter, and three of the one and three eighths. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three for the bud. So I'm going to use sponge sugar. That's what I use to color my peonies pink. And also what you see here in this little tray is bundled sage. And these are the colors that I'm using to decorate my Cottage Girls projects. So bundled sage and sponge sugar. And I have several bundled sage peonies already made up, so I decided to make a bunch of pink. So we're gonna go ahead and start distressing or inking our petals. So we're doing the top sides. So this is the bottom, the large petal. There are five. And just, you know, don't be fussy about getting that ink on there. Just, you know, swirl your foam applicator around there. It doesn't have to be perfect and your peonies will be beautiful. So that's the large. I think I put them in the wrong section. Yeah, I did. <laughs> These are the large. So we're going to do the large. All right, now we'll set these aside. Now the middle size, you're going to do the tops and you're going to do the bottoms. And the reason why we do the bottoms is when we pull up the petals, they show on both sides. So we just do a little bit of ink on the back of it so it all blends in nicely. Okay, then I'm gonna just flip them back over to the right side. And then our three smaller petals for the butt. Put a little bit more on this one. All right, 
Now we're going to form our petals. And I have some style stylus here that I got off of Amazon. I have a set of four. And the reason why I got these is because the whole metal part goes through the center. And I have a tendency to press down really hard on my petals. And in the past, I have snapped these uh, McGill styluses uh, making flowers because the metal does not go all the way through the center. It only goes up to about there. And when I snap them off, it's snapped off the plastic. So I use these and I'm going to use the smallest one in this set. The other ones have their rolls. These are actually done, um, used to form clay pieces. But today I'm going to use this for my flowers and I use the smallest side. So we're going to start with the smallest petal. We're going to flip it over and we're going to pull up those petals. And all I do is go up the center of the flower and pull that petal to the center. Just like that. So you got something that looks like that. And how I'm doing this, or what I'm doing this on, is a cuddle bug embossing mat. And then underneath that, I have the McGill mat that comes with the flower forming kit. So I have a double type of mat because I like the feel or firmness of the two of them together. It helps me to form my flowers well. So remember to turn your petals to the back side and go over the top of each one in the center. And that's all we're going to do with that. This is the middle petal, so I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to do the same thing. Go down the center, one swipe with the stylus. So you get something that looks like that. So we're gonna do it with all five. You can see I'm pressing down hard so that my mat is moving. All right. Flip it over. So I'm doing it on the underside and I'm leaving it that way. I'm not flipping it back over. All right, that's four for the center. And the last one is number five. Right down the center of your petal. Okay, that's five. Now we get to the largest piece. So we're gonna flip these over and we're gonna do the same thing all around. On the back side, one pass down the center of the petal. Okay, then you flip it over and you're going to go one time around the outside of the circle so that your petal looks like that. Right, we're gonna flip this one over. One pass down each petal in the center. And then flip it over. And then go one time around the center circle. And flowers do take a while to make, but they are very calming, peaceful, type of craft. So flip that over one time around the center. And I like to do at least 12 flowers when I'm making flowers. Because if you have some left over, you can always use them on another project. And one time around the center. And for the last petal,
and then flip it over one time around the center. Okay, now we're gonna put this together. And I'm going to use hot glue for that. And we're gonna start with the bottom. And my hot glue gun is not on. So let's just give this a break <laughs> while we wait that for that to heat up. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the smaller flower, which is this one right here. We're going to make this one as well. So we have a large one and a small one right there. So for the small one, you're going to need seven of the one and three eighths inch die, which is this one right here. And you will need three of the one inch die. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have an extra one. And then I need three of these. Let's see. And here's the third one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and color these with our Distress ink. So the three small ones. This is for the bud. And then the center on this particular flower has three. Okay, so we're going to do the tops and the bottoms for the small one. So do the back side a little bit. Okay. And then we have four for the bottom of this flower. Okay. So let's see if the hot glue gun is ready to rock and roll. We're going to put these aside. And we're going to make the large flower. Almost there. Here we go. So we're going to stagger the petals, and this is what I mean. You put them in between each of the other petals like that. And then we're gonna put glue on the center. Stagger the petals. And keep building this with the five large petals for the bottom. And one more. All right, we're going to set this aside. And now we're going to do the whoops. Have one, two, here we go. That's for the center. This is for the bud. So we're gonna open up these and we're gonna stick some glue on the center right there. We're gonna stagger the petals, press it in. And then for this one, I'm gonna go a little bit wider on that hot glue. And I'm gonna stick this one in and then we're gonna pull up. Pull up, 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 until it closes almost like that, so that you get a bud that looks like that, okay? Now we're going to do the center part. And we're gonna put some glue on the center here. Stagger the petals. Remember, we have five of these. It's number three. 
here we have number four. And let me grab a glue stick here. And we're going to go a little bit higher on this one, just a little bit, like an eighth of an inch for the last one. Okay. And then we're going to stick our bud in there. We're going to do the same thing, a little bit higher, and then put the bud right in the center, and then pull everything up, just like this. Make sure that the bud is in the center. Sometimes I use this to get it centered. All right, and this is what you, what you, your flower looks like so far. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit more, scrunch it up, and then we're going to go to the bottom five, and we're going to put some glue about an eighth of an inch up more than the center and then we're going to stagger the petals again and then we're going to pull this up pull about the first two or three layers up into that center portion just like that and there you have your beautiful peony now the next thing that I do with this is I put glitter on it and that will make it sparkly just like that. And I get this glitter from Walmart and it's pretty chunky and I just use some Elmer's glue and a paintbrush. I will leave the name of the glitter that I get at Walmart in the description box below so that you can find it there when you go shopping and I just take my paintbrush and brush the petals there's a little bit in there and I use this to sprinkle my glitter on Turn it upside down a little bit and get it off. And there you have a beautiful peony. I'm going to put it in my tray, but you can't see it. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you how to do the smaller one. All right. Now we had... Three of the smallest with the top with Distress Ink. Three for the center of the one and three eighths inch die that was distressed on the front and the back and four petals for the bottom distressed on the top. So now we're gonna form the bud. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did for the large flower and we're going to go one pass to pull up the petal in the middle. So we go from the top into the center. Okay, that's number two. And we have number three. Just pulling that petal to the center. number three now we're going to work on the center pieces so we're going to flip them over and we're going to go down the center pulling it flip it over and pull to the center That one a little bit and curl. All right, flip it over. And 
and I'm pressing pretty good. Not hard, hard, but a, a good press. And now I'm on the last four petals for the bottom of this flower. And I pulled all the petals up. Now I'm going to flip it over. And just like the large flower, I'm going to go around the outside of the circle like that. Flip it over and circle. Flip it over and circle. And we have one more flower petal. Flip it over and circle. All right, let's go ahead and make the bud. I'm going to put hot glue in the center. And we're going to stagger the petals. Hot glue in the center. I'm going to stagger the petals. And then we're going to pull everything up into a tight, tight bud. Just like that. And hold it because your glue probably isn't cooled down yet. So it will hold the bud like that. So now we're going to make the center part. And we're going to put some glue in the center. Stagger the petals. And I have used Georgia Pacific cardstock to cut out my flowers. Just want to mention that in case I didn't in the beginning. So there's three. And now I'm going to go a little bit wider with the glue. And I'm going to stick the petal right in the middle. And I'm going to pull up on everything. Nice and tight. And hold it there while the um, glue cools off. Okay, and see how nicely that does that. All right, now we're going to do the four last petals. Looks like stagger them. Ouch, oh, sorry, burnt my finger. Right there. And this one goes on here, staggered. All right, and to put this piece on, I'm going to go a little bit wider than that circle. And then we're just gonna put this in the center. And like the large flower, we're gonna take the first two or three layers and also pull them up. Just like that. And there is the small peony. And like the large one, we're going to go ahead and paint it with some Elmer's glue. And I'll bring the glitter over and pour some on there. And there is our beautiful peony. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you will be making some peonies for your project soon. So remember to sprinkle kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye-bye.